Welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. In this one, I want to show you how we can use a Zapier post action to interact with our WayScript hosted Flask applications. Let's jump right in. So what we're doing is creating a post request from one of these integrations on Zapier, and that post request goes to our custom application on WayScript. That way we can use the default features of Zapier and build something custom for our own business inside of WayScript. Our first step in doing that is to create a Zap. We'll click on My Zaps and then click on Create Zap. At this point, what we'll need to choose is our integration that we want to fire our post request. In this example, I will use Slack. So we'll choose that integration and we'll choose the trigger event. Our action needs to be a webhook by Zapier. Once we choose this, it is a premium feature. There is a seven day free trial that we can use and I'll choose an action as post. We'll click on continue and now we have a few options to go through. At this point, we need to create our Flask application over on Wayscript. To do that, we'll jump over to Wayscript. We'll create a new layer. To set up a Flask application, what we'll need is an app.py file we will need this default.triggers file to deploy it, and we'll create a requirements.txt. Once we have that, we'll say Flask, and we'll save that. Inside of our app.py, this is where our Flask application will live. The code that I'll use for my Flask application looks something like this. What we're doing is importing a few dependencies, starting up our Flask application. We're accepting a method of post here, so that makes sure that we're getting our post action from Zapier. Then within this post action, I'm taking and checking if the message from Slack is zap reports. And if it is, I'm triggering another Wayscript service that generates and sends out reports from my database. If it doesn't contain that message, then I return message, no report generated. So once we have all of this, we'll need to host it. And we can do that very easily in Wayscript by clicking dot triggers deploy and we'll do that by using this flask command flask run port and host and i'll make sure this is linked down below too that way you know how to get this command and we'll make sure that the port matches what this does is create a url for us that we can use in our request on zapier so in this post request we now have this url to send the request to We'll make sure that the payload type is a JSON type. All endpoints on Wayscript are password protected by default. We could make this public, but that's probably not the best thing to do. So instead, what we can do is go and grab an authentication key from our settings and our application keys. We'll take this key and how we use this is as a bearer authentication method. And I will show you how to do that. In our headers, we'll need authorization is bearer and we'll paste in that string. That means that this service on Zapier can now interact with our Wayscript service and we'll hit continue. And when we test out our tool, we see that we get a request was sent and our message back says no report generated. And that's all it takes to connect a post request to our Wayscript applications. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.